In these problems, we're working with outcomes and event probability. So here's a situation where someone is tossing a coin three times, and they're listing all the possible outcomes. So you could throw a tails on the first toss and then get two heads, or throw a heads on the first toss and get, then get two tails, and it, so on. There are eight possible outcomes uh, for this uh, situation, and they're all listed here. So this is all the things that could happen in this situation. Now, there are some specific events here that we want to determine the probability of, like two or more tails, or a head on the last toss, or uh, more tails and heads. To do this, if we have all the possible outcomes, we just have to count the outcomes that satisfy those conditions, and then divide by the total number of outcomes, and that should be the probability. So let's look for two or more tails. No, yes, no, no, yes, 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 no. So four out of the eight have two or more tails. So the probability of two or more tails is actually 0.5. Let's look for a head on the last toss. No, oops, sorry, a head on the last toss. Yes, no, no, yes, no, yes, no, and yes. So again, that's four out of eight. That's a probability of 0.5. And let's look for this last one, more tails than heads. So that one does not have more tails. This one does. This one does not. This one does not. That one does. This one does. And this one does, and this one does not. And again, it's 4 out of 8, or 0.5. Let's look at another situation like this. Here we have probabilities for the genders of three children. So imagine the first letter is the firstborn, um, and it could be a boy or a girl, and then the secondborn, and then the thirdborn. So we have all the possible outcomes for the genders of three different children. Now let's look at these events. Uh, the first one says a girl on the first birth, or the third birth, or both. So first or third or both. Here's one. Uh, there's one. There's one. That's on the third birth, that's on the first and the third, that's on the first. So six out of the eight satisfy that. So that's six A's, three fourths, that's 0.75. The next event is more boys than girls. So there's two boys, there's two boys, there's two boys, um, and there's all boys. So that one's 0.5, four out of eight. And finally, we have a girl on both the first and the last. So a girl on both first and last. There is one, and there is one. That's only two out of eight, or one-fourth, and that's a probability of 0.25. So that's a little bit of work with outcomes and event probability.